Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me for this special story time. So I'm very excited today. Um, two authors uh, from Duxbury uh, wanted to record their books for us and read them during story time. So this is very exciting. This is their uh, debut books and they will be, uh, spoiler alert, probably doing some more in the future. So um, I hope you enjoy them. And without further ado, uh, this is Finn Dalen's story. Um, so I am official author here. This is my book called Legend of Ben and the Alien. And today we're gonna, I'm gonna read it to you guys as a premiere. Legend of Ben and the Alien by me, Ben Dolan. Let's get started. There was a boy named Ben. He was hungry. He saw some berries, bushes of berries. Ben decided to eat the three strawberries and then Ben saw the alien. The alien called his ship to destroy the forest. And this is just there's two pictures here so you can see things. Ben decided to go home and have lunch. Two pictures again. Ben, I will go out there and destroy the alien. So, on this side, there is a picture of him eating his lunch, and there's a picture in writing of him saying he's gonna go destroy that alien, okay? Ben, you dirty alien, alien, ha ha ha. Boo, boom, boom. A unicorn came to save the day. Alien, no! This is a picture of the fire with alien and unicorn about to destroy. This is the fire is over and unicorn destroying alien. But the writing is a little close up. Ben, thank you. Unicorn, no problem, Ben. Oh well, I need dinner. Oh, unicorn, okay. Ben, would you like to join? Here's a picture of them eating dinner, and here's of them asking like what question. What will happen next? Dun dun dun. That was a fun story, wasn't it? And it somehow made me very hungry. So our next piece is going to be starring BB, and he's gonna do Sitting Down to Eat by Bill Harley. Enjoy. Mmm, salmon, my favorite. I sorry I don't have any microchips for you. That's okay, that's okay. All right, so you're gonna start. I'm just gonna help you out and take a back seat. Okay. <clears throat> I was sitting down to eat, just about to begin when a who could that be? I'm not expecting anyone. When a knock on the door said. Can I come in? What? <laughs> How did you get to the door? You gotta just pretend, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Oh no, what do I see but a great big blue whale staring at me? Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Well, if I have enough for one, then I have enough for two, and if I have enough for me, I guess I have enough for you. So come on, come on in, come on in. <sighs> I was sitting down. 
want to eat. Just about to begin. Mm. When I... Did you invite someone? Mm. Knock on the door, said. Can I come in? Oh no, what do I see? Oh, a great big tiger looking at me. Oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? I guess if I have enough for one, then I have enough for two. And if I have enough for me, I guess I have enough for you. So come on in, come on in. I was sitting down to eat, just about to begin, when uh, You've got to be kidding. Uh, knock on the door, I said, can I come in? Oh no, what do I see? But a great big alligator staring at me. Oh no. What you gonna do? If I have enough for one, then I have enough for two. If I have enough for me, I guess I have enough for you. Come on in. Okay. Sit over there. Okay, okay. I don't know if I have enough for everybody here, but um, I'll, I'll share. I like sharing. Okay, here we go. I was sitting down to eat, just about to begin when I... Can I, can I come in, please? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> oh no, what do I see but a great big gorilla? It's getting kind of crowded in here, <laughs> staring at me. Oh no, what you gonna do? If I have enough for one, then I have enough for two. And if I have enough for me, I guess I have enough for you. Okay. I was sitting down to eat, just about to begin, when a... Can I come in? Bibi. I think that was very fun. I think Bill Harley would really appreciate that rendition. Yes, and Miss Jessica made all those animals. She found tutorials on YouTube and drew them. Yes, I am, didn't think I was a very good drawer, but I have to say YouTube uh, made it really easy. Mm -hmm. Anyone can draw. Mm -hmm. So I have a unicorn finger play for us, so let's go over. 
There's five unicorns. This one's number five, and he is what color? Blue. Fourth unicorn is orange. The third unicorn is green. The second unicorn is red. And the first unicorn is white. All right, so hold up your hands for five. I saw five little unicorns, creatures from folklore. I watched the blue one prance away, and then there were four. Four little unicorns resting by a tree. I watched the orange one prance away, and then there were three. Three little unicorns, but as near to them as I drew, the green one pranced away, and then there were two, two little unicorns. I watched them run and run. The red one pranced away, and then there was one. One lonely white unicorn standing in the sun, and when I blinked my eyes, it pranced away, and then there were none. All right, next up is Cora Dalen, who has a story about a, one of my favorite characters, a cat. So before we hear the story, Miss Megan is gonna show us how to do cat in American Sign Language. So let's see. Here's the ASL animal of the day. Cat. Um, to key makes wishes, it's a funny, toes naked. Let's get into this shoe to it. Kitty makes wishes. Kitty couldn't stop smiling at the prince. She wished to be a princess. They went into the forest to walk around. Kitty was walking in the forest and she dreamed of marrying the prince. She met a toad. Kitty heard there was a dragon. The prince showed Kitty's toad's house and then they heard a loud noise. Kitty wondered if it was a big alien ship. Kitty said, hey, stop it, you big poop. Leave the alicorn alone. The prince asked, where is Kitty? Toad pooped on the ground. Kitty said, ew. Kitty was so excited that her dream came true. The giraffe kept wagging his tail. Kitty and the prince got married. Book two, coming soon. Our next song is called, When Cats Get Up in the Morning. So, let's find our cat. There he is. So what do cats say when they get up in the morning? Meow, meow. What about this animal? This is a dog. What does the dog say when he gets up in the morning? Woof, 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 woof. How about this one? The sheep. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How about the cow? What does the cow say in the morning? Good morning. No, they say moo. How about the duck? Quack, 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 quack. How about the pig? He says, I'm going back to bed. No, he says, oink, 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 oink. And then the horse. Horse says, nay. All right, now let's work on our sound song. So, when cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cats get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, meow, meow. All right, how about dogs? When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, woof, 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 woof. All right, how about 
sheep. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. How about the cow? <laughs> cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, moo, 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 <laughs> moo, moo, moo. How about the duck? When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, quack. How about the pig? When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Pigs get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, oink, 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 oink. All right, how about the horse? When horses get up in the morning, they always say good day. When horses get up in the morning, this is what they say. They say, nay, 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 nay. What do you think you say in the morning? Hmm. Some days I say, oh, five more minutes. <laughs> All right, so you know I have a ton of kitty cat songs. So here's another one. It goes... I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers, here are my feet. When I go all hunting mice, beware. Or you might just have a scare. Boo! <laughs> Let's try it again. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers, here are my feet. When I go out hunting mice, beware. Or you might just have a scare. Bow! All right, let's now silly this dance. Now is called the Silly Dance Contest, where the silliest dancer is always the best. You just dance, right. dance, dance as silly as you please, and when the music stops, then you freeze. Right, dance ready? any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Contest round two. All right, dance again. Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Freeze. Like a statue. Now, if you look silly, you're doing great. And this time, we're going to jump up and right, down as high as we can. Let's go. Jump as high as you, you want to. Jump as high as you please. Jump as high as you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Some people freeze with a silly face. And this time, let's dance as fast as we can. Ready? Dance fast you want to, dance fast you please. Dance fast you want to, but stop when I say freeze. I told you that was fast. But now here's the hard one.
So that was the Silly Dance Contest by Jim Gill. Wow. Did you notice that both stories had aliens in it? Hmm. I sense a pattern. So, um, usually when we think about aliens, we think about outer space. So let's do the zoom, zoom, zoom rhyme. So we go zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Ready? We're going to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! All right, this time we're going to go to the stars. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Last one, we're gonna go to the sun. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, Blast off! Great job, everybody! Alright, Cora, this is a song for you. Hey there, Cora, you're a real cool cat. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. So come on in and get down. To the left. To the right, up in the air, get down. All right, this one's for Finn. Hey there, Finn, you're a really cool cat. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. So come on in and get down. To the left. To the right, up in the air, and get down. All right, thanks everybody for coming, and I hope you had fun. So now we'll say goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.